This is Red All Over Instant Reaction, a big Barnsley breakfast show as we talk about um, Barnsley beating Peterborough 2-1. I said instant reaction, but obviously there's been a day, but it's just one of the name of the shows. So for people who are like, well, it's been over a day. Well, I know. Well, we do it on Sunday morning, so it, we can't help that it will move to Friday night, but we'll come. But what, what matters is Barnsley beat Peterborough 2-1. That's the important bit. Um, great result for the Reds, up to fourth in the league now, looking very rosy considering at the beginning of the season things were very up in the air and I think all of us kind of weren't sure what to expect this season. I know Josh particularly expected at least a better mid-table finish and we weren't all disagreeing with him too heavily, apart from Alan who thought we were finished second, so slowly creeping up Al, slowly creeping up. Um, let's talk about the match, let us know in the comments what you thought to it. Um, Andy? A few winner winner chicken dinners in the competition and uh, definitely a winner on the pitch for, for the Reds. It was. It's just as well, isn't it? Because if you look outside, it's a flipping miserable Sunday morning at eight o'clock. It's a good job we didn't lose, isn't it? Because, oh, goodness me, this would have been one of the most miserable shows in history. Look how flipping miserable it is out there. Anyway, yeah, it were, it were a great performance. Really, really great performance. The first half an hour, well, I, I thought were quite awesome. Possibly, possibly the best for me. Possibly the best we have played this season. We could have scored a number of goals in that first bid. Not quite sure how we didn't. Didn't quite get on the end of it. But you know, Cadden put some great crosses in. We were incisive. It was a really good performance. Um, culminating in what a strike! Yeah, yet a, yet another midfield player with a, a strike and a half from Luca Connell. What more do you want? Smacked it in. I mean, the only slight downside were the. Uh, uh, in the first half, because I thought we did really well. Um, well, the goal, you know, the the, the equaliser. Uh, I mean, you know, everybody's saying, oh, you know, so-and-so should have done this and so-and-so should have done that. You know, John Williams should have tracked it. But every goal, you could do something, to, you know, you could do something about any goal that you concede. Um, so it's a bit harsh for somebody who keeps going forward and then back and, and another midfielders, oh, should have tracked him and all that, and probably should have. I thought, and I might be wrong, I might, might be wrong, I thought you were offside down that wing, at Boku, down that wing. I Me was, too, he I mean, looked it, didn't he? He's not Usain Bolt, he's quick, but he's not Usain Bolt, but flipping it, and it happened again, you know, that was the only worry for me, that it's happened again, and and to, and, and to assistant referee on that line, it were like, I, I, I think she forgot she got a flag, so that, 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 were, that, that were the only particular worry I had got, um, but it were a good header, you know, a good, you know, it crossed it well and headed it in a good head. But, you know, and, and you think, oh, well, you know, we played that well and we're, uh, they were very lucky to be to be drawing at half time. And, you know, I thought, well, come out of the second half, let's just hope that we uh, we regroup again because we were pressing quickly, we were press, pressing fast. Um, and yet again, we came, came out at them and um, another good goal from Adam the Magician. What a goal, again. You know, is it uh, is that five in six or four? Five in six. Five in, five in six. six no, Andy, five in six. All down to his dad. It's all down to his dad being it next for him when he was a little kid. It was, I give credit to Mister Phillips Senior. Ah, because he said he said when he was when he was younger, he didn't used to. It was not. It's no mistake that when he get that last goal uh, against Crew, that it's no mistake that he, he lashed it in, um, but got it on target because he practiced all. All his young life before, isn't he? Smacking it in at, at pace. So, you know, well done. To, well, let's give Adam a bit of credit. Well done to Adam, but well done, Adam's dad. Well it's done, mainly Adam. for Adam's dad, though, isn't it, really? Oh. <laughs> That's really one kidding. Proud, one proud he won't be the player he is today without his dad, would he? Well, this is true. This is true. Um, Josh, like Andy said, started like an absolute, yeah, just went went for it. Like, we are going to win this game. And and that is a cracking mentality to have. I was very impressed with the way we, we attack Peterborough, especially considering they're probably the arguably the best attacking side in the league. We've, we've gone for them. So I think that was brilliant to see from the off. Yeah, attack's, attack's best form of defence, isn't it, really? And uh, I've said it multiple times this season. We've played better against the be the better sides. Like we've not necessarily done as an injustice against any team we've played sort of in around the top six. It's it's the teams that are gonna set up to sort of defend against you. When you got when you play so like Peter Rose, you said they're a good attacking threat, so they're gonna attack, which by 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 default means they're gonna be exposed, gonna open up at the back. And you can see what works on is work it wide, get get some cross into box and seat and see what can happen. I mean, from Cadden's first cross, well, from Cadden's cross through we scored with Luca Connell on the edge um, and 
a nice well worked free kick to be honest remind very similar to that of uh, Brad Potts a few years ago at Peterborough when we beat him 4-1 four, 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 very reminiscent of that to be honest and I think you could see we've got a clear game plan stuck we, we stuck to it and we got us we got us uh, just desserts I mean um, the, the Peter player, player wasn't offside by the way if they go about three yards he wasn't eight, oh, okay you know, I've not Tom seen Ed, it back Tom, and I don't think Tom Edwards Andy plays had. him on yeah, it's alright you know I did a bit of research in preparation for the show Joe and like you <laughs> it's a good job uh, we've got you well apologies to the Lions <laughs> at Lions woman for that playing one playing on, <laughs> oh, we're playing on because I could Tom Edwards Tom, Tom Edwards on, it on the near on side far side I'm certain it looked offside from where we were when we were in stand but when I yeah. looked it back Tom Edwards I think yeah Tom Edwards on the near side playing about three yard which obviously he's already got that he's already got legs of a cad and um, but for me it, it were a bit of a because that goal did come from our press in a way because we pressed the keeper who's had to launch it long and it's just getting that second ball there because um, I forget who picked it up I don't think it was Johnson Clark Harris um, he picked up like in between the lines of Luke O'Connell and Mads Anderson and, and Mads can't really go because he's going to make that gap there and it's just it's more unfortunate than anything else um, in the way in which the ball's landed and he's picked it up so I wouldn't necessarily. I couldn't really count any blame to it. Yeah, Jordan Williams. He couldn't. He couldn't get goal side of play because the player too quick for him. To be honest, when he's running forward, he can't. He can't get there. And the ball, everything's sort of perfect in that he don't have to break stride or anything. Does their player? So, just an unfortunate thing. But it's nice to see that we didn't, given the period which we had that that that, that half hour of being fantastic. We didn't. His edge didn't drop that because you'd think about it. You play so well, and to to be pegged back sort of against run of play. It just takes out, takes it the, the wind out itself sometimes, doesn't it? But it's nice to see that that didn't happen. It was like we go again, we'll go score again. And to be fair, Kitchen could have scored with that header, free header, six yard out. Should be should be at least on target. So very good performance because I thought we struggled against Peter because when you look at last season when we played them and it was kind of relegation six pointer, we were miles off it compared to them. They like they got because they got Grant McCann in, they got the they brought that structure back to the club. And they look like they're heading in the right direction, even though getting really good, they're going in the right direction for this season. So to be, to sort of see the upheaval we've gone through and to be <clears throat> in around there, it's above them, really Josh. impressive. Above them. Not around mm. them, above them. <laughs> Josh is right, though. I mean, if you'd have asked no, any is. of us after, and any of you guys after the nil nil draw with Peterborough, you know, I think last season we'd have probably all said there's no way we're beating them next season because they did look like they were coming into it a lot stronger than us. But as Andy says, above them now, Al, the, the mentality is fantastic from the team, and that's got to come. That all comes from Michael Duff and the coaching coaching guys, Devaney and Patterson. I mean, to see that, like Josh says, to play so well in the first thirty minutes, where really we should have put the game to bed. It should have been two or three nil. Peterborough, obviously good attacking side, get themselves back in it. We could have easily let the heads drop and they could have gone on, kicked on, but it didn't happen. And that just shows how good we are mentality-wise. Only only downside at night were the fact that, that uh, the goal we conceded, that Jack Taylor goes to in without anybody near him. That's the, that's the only downside of our performance. I was there with about 900 Reds fans and what a night it was. They never stopped singing from minute one to, to last minute when uh, it come duff and uh, come to put his chest to us and uh, it was fantastic fantastic evening to be honest uh, Luke O'Connell cracking goal uh, what, a, what a chest and a hit it was straight in front of us when he hit that one and then Adam Phillips yet again another another cracking goal and I put both goals down to our coaching staff because we did them we did them because they was long throwing uh from Edwards, they were waiting for that long throwing, so they all went in on six yard line to defend it. We took a quick one, and that's where we come and and held off them. And they must have watched them because both goals come from edge of box with 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 no nobody near them. So that was first goal. And the second goal, what a free kick! What a quick free kick as well. And they're all there waiting for the ball to come across, and he pulls it back. And yet again, lucky keeper should have had it to be honest, but. We'll, we'll he could have done better, there. but I, I didn't. Yeah, I think that it was still a. He still hit it really hard with some pace, and it's gone through bodies. So I feel for the keeper a little bit. But I yeah, feel for uh, Phillips' household, next door neighbours, when he's if we're blasting them like that, <laughs> it's been uh, three or four doors down the street, wasn't it? That I think if, there were probably a few um, uh, garden garden windows put through <laughs> in his but, youth. But no, it, 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 it <laughs> was a great, great evening, uh, and uh, as I say. It, 
more of the same, more of the same. I can't wait to go to Oxford on Saturday now. Irrespective of kickoff time, they're all on about it might be changed because if England gets through, it could be pulled early because of kicker time at seven o'clock. And then they're talking about if you're going up coaches to pull up somewhere and get in a pub. But I don't think any coaches are getting a pub if we get get through on Saturday night to, to go and watch a match. So Alan's all right. I'm on coach. I've got my sky go. Go on, go on, Al. We love it. Commitment, lad. Um, that's just prompted me to, to put an, a random mini debate into this show because I really want to ask you because I saw a fan this week who said, he wasn't a Barnsley fan, um, but I saw a clip on social and he basically said that he would put country over club by a country might like he would much prefer England to win the World Cup over like his team winning the Premier League. I mean, what do you what think? I'm Barnes. I mean, I love England. Don't get me wrong. I love I England. Love I want us to win the World first, Cup first, every day of the week. Go first, second. There you go. First, second. Is it? Mr. Just let us know what you think in comments. I'm, I'm interested to see. There's no judgment here. If you if you prefer England, that's fine. I'm just interested to see where it where everybody else sits on that because that just shocked me personally. I thought Barnsley first every day of the week, Josh. Absolutely not winning a World Cup over us. Of us going to championship now. Imagine how good that day is going to be if we won't World Cup. Imagine how good of a day that is. That's like everyone's coming together to celebrate that. You don't have that divide in, fo- in, in, in football. Everyone's together. Everyone's happy. When we got to Euros final, that one, when we won that, when we won semis and everything, that was best. That one of the best days ever. What a summer that was. Like, imagine I mean, I have to admit, he's right there. Been being Andy, aren't we? 12 year old, we've been there, we've seen it and done it like that. We've done it tell that we? We, we went straight, Josh. we went straight that, to that. Hampton Park and we played football, Andy, didn't we? We got we ball, did. our novice styles going out there as a 12 year old. All right, well, which one did you prefer, Barnsley being it Prem or uh, or England well, winning the Cup? Barnsley, we have to doubt. Josh, you need to wrap that blanket around you a bit tighter. I think cold's got to your head. Well, so it's one of the best days. It, it, there'd be a national holiday for it. I'd, I'd take a bank holiday over, over us getting promoted. I started to it now, gang, Anna. a bank holiday <laughs> every day at week. As Al said, as Al said, Joe, me and him, we've done them both. We've done Premier League and we, we've done World Cup. Premier League, Al, that was the best day, weren't it, mate? Magical party in town when we got promoted after beating Brad, Bradford. Easily best, easily best. I think we'd all agree, we'd all agree we want to see both happen, Barnsley yeah. in the Premier League and obviously uh, England win the World Cup and I'd definitely take England win the World Cup. But if I had the choice, I certainly would pick Barnsley for Prem. So interesting, interesting debate. Get in the comments, let us know what you think. By the way, I'm quite impressed with the uh, routines of these lot getting up this morning. Josh has got his what he's calling his Game of Thrones blanket because he thinks he's Sean Bean. Um he thinks he's a Stark. Oh, John Snow. No, you prefer John Snow, don't you? <laughs> that makes it sound like this is my last episode. <laughs> so that's all that happens. Andy's going to bring you up. Hold on. Hold on. It's winter. It is winter. I'll just put that in there. Going back to the game at Peterborough, I will say this much. Straight in front of us when uh, Tom Edwards got injured, uh, our up in arms, if you've seen that photo of me pointing, I were on it to uh, Mason Clark. Mason Clark. No, I've something. not seen that yet, Al. You've not, you've not posted it everywhere yet. <laughs> make sure you get it. Make, make, make sure you get it on all social media plat- platforms. I've not seen it on uh, TikTok yet. <laughs> you don't, <laughs> the one posted, hey, don't encourage Alan to get you, TikTok. You, 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 should have been sat, you should have been sitting next, next to me at language what we're coming out at. And Mason Clark, he comes and he's tapping Edwards on his end, and there's, and there's me and Claire giving him some. Fair town abuse, I'll tell you I that. I didn't think but... it were intentional, though. It looked like a knee-to-knee, which is always a nasty one, to be fair. Always when stings. you're close to him, when you're close, it were, it were full-blooded, but he left it on him. I'm so, I'm certain. Well, maybe, you obviously, maybe you've seen something different to, to what we did, but um, I just hope in terms of, That was the only downside for me, is, is Tom and Edwards also, and Josh Benson. losing, uh, uh, yeah. It, it, we lost two, didn't we? No disrespect to us. And Benson. ended the. Uh, it, 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 came on and then went off. Uh, and Josh Benson looked as though it's going to be a two to three weaker again. And I hope Edwards. I'm is glad Alan's a medical, such a medical know, expert. Right? He can did... work out exactly how long a player's out just based on <laughs> when they leave the pitch. When did Al, when, when did Al do that? Physio did Vicky degree? shout over to you, Al? Hey, I don't need a blanket around me. I don't need a blanket wrapped around me. I've got, I've got, I've got insulate around Al. Not like your thinnings. I've got, you know, it's all right. We're fine, aren't we, Andy? Yeah, We've got. By a, the way, this is Fred in, the Gong. Just so you know, temperature. 
senses. You tell them, Al. <laughs> this is this is I'm moving I'm moving out and this is my first house purchase. It's Fred the Gonk, so he's, he's with me this morning, keeping me keeping my ear holes warm. Um, I know you've got that because oh my stars! It yeah, it was a joint you, decision. I'm gonna have a word with you. Needs to be off. Needs to be off. She needs I to got this in a fix. That I'm moved about with that. First purchase you got for Alison Rapper for Kappa t-shirts that you're taking with you. Oh no, no all of them. Me. <laughs> They're going with you as well. Oh. Please buy them, guys. Please. They're on Rapper offer. Kappa t-shirt room. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh great. Here we go. We're all we're all that, doing that fancy dresses. Side, props really. now. That, that was the downside yesterday. Um, it were a, a really, really good performance, a good win, and and we 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 managed the game really well as it went on. You know, we didn't just sit back and then further back and further back and further back, and you just think, oh God, we're going to concede. We didn't do that at all. We managed the game really, really well. Um, but the two injuries, we couldn't, we we can't afford any more injuries. Tom Edwards had been playing, has been playing really, really well in that position. Um, and as Al said, his long throws um, make a difference. I, I, I'd, I'd like I'd like our attackers, come defenders that go up for him to win ball more when he chucks them in. But uh, it's, it's it's you know it's as good as a corner anywhere around that penalty is as good as a corner. And and because Josh Josh Benson has not been in the side a lot of times recently, um, and he's been right wing back, and he came on there went off. That they'll both be misses, you know. We, we we really are down to a bit where another injury and you know, another injury in defense. If if they're not available this weekend at all, another injury in defense midfield, then what? Then what I think know, the difficulty is it's coming at the wrong point. time as well, isn't it? It's that Christmas period where it's really busy. Yeah. It is, and looking at it, we've we've lost both. If we lose Edwards, Benson coming to cover for him. Who's going to come in? Is it going to be Larkesh? Yeah. You, you know, we, we're getting to bare bones in, in that position, aren't we? That, yeah. That's that's the trouble. And and we're playing well as a team. As I say, it was a t- great team performance on Friday night. To a man. Yeah, they're playing well as a team, but, uh, you know, obviously every, each individual's offerings. And I mean, Irby Kane, for me, has come on leaps and bounds. I think he's, he's just looking like the player that you're, you know, we saw a few years, not at Barnsley, but in previous years when he's played. But he's added that extra bite to his game, extra work rate, getting stuck in. Um, yeah, yeah I really enjoyed that one on Friday night, Joe, for me, where he got the ball and he took four players on and we're driving through and they were in space and they pulled him down. Referee didn't only had a word. He didn't book. He didn't even book one Peterborough player. No. Phillips did his first tackle and he gives him card. There were a lot of frustration on, on it's Friday. It's interesting because I thought he refed it quite well. I thought he yeah. let us yeah. pull away with a few, but... That does make a change, though, Frel, not, not to like a ref. Yeah, it does to be fair. A change. I mean, he is usually in the the ref's union, isn't he? Yeah, he is. You know, always <laughs> always says they're very balanced. And Sorry, I feel like we're getting Al some stick today, bless him. <laughs> Sorry, Al. We're all, we're just you can give me as much stick as you want, you all three. I was there. Where were you? Go on, Al. You Go can on. give me as much stick as you want. I was there. I were at there. work, Al, you know. I were at work. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Got a job, me still. I'm still busy. <laughs> okay, let's not get into the who's a better fan, guys. We're all Barnsley fans. We all. No, that's just that's just you're you're safe, at big, you you're at big away games. That's why. Have a dig, lads. I'm no bothered. I'll come back oh, bouncing. Like it. Do a one bit, Go one on. bit. Go on now. On. Wide on our left side of their penalty near, near the goal line, where our player. I think I'm, I'm not sure which player. Well, I think it was Cadden. Had got the ball, their player coming to tackle him, and he moved the ball away. And the, their player were about a yard away from ball because it, it, it was to the side. The side, I think it was Cadden, and uh, he took him out. We got a free kick, but nothing, nothing. And he did a tackle, and he were a yard away from the ball, but he still took him out. And you know, referee <laughs> just get free kick. And uh, and, and I, I'm with Al on that. I thought he were a bit. Um, a bit pappy as far Michael as Michael uh, and Devaney on touchline were just at right of us. They 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 were questioning him totally because some at 50 50 throwings, they yeah. were all us giving yeah. them their way. We're all us to Peterborough. We never we're got any out. 50 50s. Final, final question before we finish the show because I want to go get my breakfast because I haven't had it yet. Um, oh, well, not my second breakfast anyway. I've just remembered I had a tea cake. Um, oh. I'm having another one. Um, <laughs> uh, quite <laughs> question, sorry. It's, do you know sometimes you're just talking your head and then you forget you're actually doing a, like an actual show where people are there? Um, final question. What 
do you think are in terms of us catching the top three? Are we getting a bit giddy by saying that? There's obviously quite a big gap between us and them of at Reward um, and, you know, Plymouth and Ipswich. Or do you, re- do you think it's realistic? Could we do it? Alan, what do you think I'll come to first? Is it realistic? Or are we are we uh, happy Josh where we are? His head. I believe if we get the January window right and we get the players in to supplement the squad, I think we can push on because we we were game in hand, aren't we? So I think it's nine points, it'll be six points. So I'm sticking for second. I still think Uncle Michael Duff has got the ability to keep pushing. And the players are believing it. And buying into his, uh, as I said, uh, his ethos and where he wants to go and uh, like fetching the boots and cleaning them and everything and not being late. He's got the mindset right. And if you've got the mindset right, you can go and do anything you want. Love it, Al. Josh, what what do you reckon? Obviously, you said mid-table. Do you think there's a sense of as we have to still keep his feet firmly on the ground? Chances are we are going to lose a game over Christmas because it's quite a few. There's quite a few games. Um, so you know it's it's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy, is it, to to stay where we are and and kick on? No, I think as well you got to like the top three. Uh, like there are three good sides. Like it's it's not a case of because it's not like we can beat uh, beat beat them and go above them. Like they can quite easily like Plymouth just keep winning. And Ipswich are always a point behind them, like they're always there, so they obviously keep winning. So it's it's sort of trying to win on them games where they're not. So it's it's difficult because it seems a hard way to catch them up now. Um, but obviously we still got to play. So got to play them. We've still got to play all three at home as well. So there's that that you can take points off from there. But it's just the fact that it's trying to find like them extra games to win over them because still, yeah, we've got a game in hand, but still need to win it. You know. It's 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 much better to have points on board than it's to have a game in hand because you're there and sorted. But I don't know. It feels like it's a lot at the minute. And when you look at sort of the injuries that have just cropped up recently, I think when you look at like just the depth that Ipswich have got in terms of like very good League One to good Championship players have got, like it's hard for us to keep up. I think this side of Christmas with them. As I said, if you get Jan- if you get Jan- January right, we can probably push on to that. But I think even if we don't get it right, we probably should be in around top six still with the squad we've got now. Given like your pickups and injuries here, here and there, rough patch of form. But I think for me, for for being more confident that we bridge that gap, we need to be much more efficient when we're playing sides that are lower in the division that are going to just sit sit back and frustrate you. Because the amount amount of times that we've played them sides, you, like when you look at Morecambe, you think, why have we not like just when it's one of the games where you reflect on the season, been like should have won that, like quite easily won that as well. So I think once we iron out that sort of deficiency, I think then I'd be much more confident to think that we could maybe make a push for top two. I still think top six would be overachieving, Andy, considering how dark things were last season, how difficult it was. You know, Michael Duff and, like I said, the coaching lads have done an exceptional job to to change the complete mentality of of the lads and and really get us firing in the right direction. And the players are obviously deserve massive credit as well for for the way they've turned things around. Um, but I still think I would say it's overachieving if we finish top six. Oh, I don't know about that. I thought we'd finish sixth. Um, you know, despite what we went through last year, um, I'm, I, I I think as, as Josh has said, it's it's a big ask. To uh, to go into an automatic position like I said, it's about nine points into. We could catch Sheffield Wednesday, you know. We, the game in hand, remember, is the ho- the game against home game against um, uh, Portsmouth. So you know that that's not going to be easy. But you know, as well as us playing them all the time, they've got to play each other. So anything's possible. You know, we, we're coming up to halfway through the season, so it's all possible. But we are starting from. Yeah, I'm more bothered about about sides behind us. You know, we need to. Keep keep going and and put some some daylight between us and those behind us, and then we can not relax. But then we can you know we we, we can start looking further up. Playoffs playoffs would, would be fine, you know if we can go towards the end of the season, get to the end of the season and be in the playoffs, we could be on the up and other teams, um, not so much, you know. So you know you never you never know how it's going to be. I quite fancy a trip down to. Um, to Wembley again, that'd be all right. But uh, you know, oh, it is proper name, Oakwell South. Oakwell South, Andy. <laughs> Come on, get it right. Don't go that southern way. It's dear me. 
Dear me, look at him. Look at him, Josh. Look at him flipping it. They talk about you and your blanket, Josh. Look at him with that on his head. Yeah, look, I've put my oh, wish list into Santa. Have you? I thought you were Santa. I thought you were gearing up ready oh, for oh, 20 oh. thought you were all gearing up, pal. Red top, red top on, hat on. Thought He's running out of time up. to grow the beard, though, isn't he? It's coming. He'll, he'll have to wait for Josh's facial hair. will be there for next Christmas. Don't worry. Ne- next Christmas, I'll give you my heart. You slay me, Al. I don't know about that. You slay me. Yeah, very nice, Al. Yeah, the pl- playoffs for me. I, I think it's a bit. Too, it's too. <clears> it's if they did, it would be a remarkable achievement if we if we manage to get automatic. But playoffs, if we can uh, keep keep the Bain pack away from us behind us, you know, because there's some good sides behind us. Um, but you know, somebody's got to do it, and we've got nothing to. I tell you now, we've got nothing to fear in this division where we're playing. Presuming we. Oh, God. I'm not gonk. kidding. I'm not kidding. Bring Gonk back, Joe. We've got his own Gonk on the show. Look at that. Look at him. Bless his cotton socks. He's Talon's a uh, long lost distance co- cousin. <laughs> it's a shame when you, when you get to his age and that and that's what he does. It's well, the building a care home next to me. I've got to, I, I, you know, I've got to be. Not fast enough, they're not, Joe. Uh, <laughs> not fast enough. They need to get, they need to get on with it. <laughs> Bless you, Al. Uh, let us know what you think, gang, uh, in the comments. If you think is top is top two possible this season, are we getting a bit too giddy, or you know, are we fairly happy with the playoffs considering everything that we've been through? If we can stick in there and, and stay there, I think this December period is going to be a big sign because obviously lots of games, like we said, had a few injuries. Possibly got a couple coming back though. Obviously, Matty Wolf may be coming back at the right time. Luke Thomas, hopefully not a million miles away. Um, so you know, if we can get a couple back as well, then we we might have a bit more of a chance. And then obviously January is the biggie. Um, Andy, to finish us off, do you want to do us a chicken? Um, chicken winner, winner, chicken dinner. There we go. Get it right, Joe. Um, who 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 got three points in our competition yesterday? Oh, oh, three points. Oh, I'm glad you gave me plenty of notice. Well, you know, I've waited till end of show so that you had plenty of time to sort it out while we were no, while we were chatting no, away. But you got distracted by Alan's many faces. Too, but- so 18 people, 18 people got the correct score. I'm not reading 18 people out. It'll take, it'll take the next five we minutes. We like a bit of name dropping on this show. <laughs> I'll mention Kate Smith. She's here t- telling me. I got it right, she says. I got it right. It was an Andy That's special, so everybody fancied a takeaway this week. 18 people. Peter was saying you to hurry up and all, because you need to get off yeah. in a minute. Oh, Tracy Martin. Time? Tracy I'm Martin were on the show last time. She got it right. to work. Shut up, Ali. Show it to do winners. Let me to tell you, Al, you just want to keep rabbling it on like a flipping clown. <laughs> Tracy Martin on the show last time. Sean Curtin. Well done, Sean. Reese Pierce, he says he says he's coming for Andy Atherton, which is interesting because it's Michael Brew that's at top. And he but, would have you know, Peter Brown, not on, like three. Back on. Stephen Wright, all the way, Bansley fan all the way from Swansea. Bless him. Ian Jackson, friend of the show, Ian Jackson. Cheers, Ian. We've got Lee Fern 41. On our table is Lee, Lee Fern 40, because every time he, he he gets a year older, he changes it. Well, he's still Lee, Lee Fern 40 to me, but 41 he reckons. John Fairweather's doing really well. Neil Dolan, all the way from down under, wouldn't Neil? Play the British way, what a star he's becoming. Philip Taylor. Scott Gilmore. Brendan Putfat. Michael Brewer, top of the table. Michael Brewer, I'll put I'll put the top bits on the uh, in the comments on this show. Michael Brewer. Then we got Gareth Heels. Well done, Gareth. Young Jake Bennett. He's coming good. He's won the last. He's got the right score in the last two matches. Tom Webster. Ah, that must have been a guess. That must have just been a guess. He's asking. As Alan says, Kate Smith. Smith bless it. Kate Smith. Kate Smith. And then our friend who writes fabulous comments, long fabulous comments every show. The super reds really, really just. I, I, I said to anybody read his comments. He just he put some great comments on those uh, the super reds. That's a, that's a flavour of it, Joseph. Flavor. That's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, well done to all our winner winner chicken dinners this week. I've seen Samantha Jones put on social that it's little Jack's birthday today. So from all of us, for our little Jack, have a good one. He had his photograph taken on Friday night uh, with James Norwood. 
He did, yeah. Oh, Happy right. birthday, Jack, from all of Red All Over. Um, and also, lad, I know you're hard because I saw him wearing short sleeves at match at last game. Mate, get the big coit out. Come on. <laughs> get I, wonder a bit he, out I, wonder there, I wonder if he knows that on Friday night he met Santa. Probably don't realise that you're Santa. Oh. Right, no, Reds. We'll don't give that secret Sunday. away. It's done that. I'm supposed to be secret Santa. I don't think oh, Alan uh, could be could oh, be uh, Santa considering how many selfies he take. We don't we always know where he was. <laughs> uh, right. No uh, fool like an old fool. Me and you, Al. Did you see me on Eiffel? I was here. I got red all over on. I was I was advertising the yeah, show. Oh, we saw you on telly. Don't worry. Advertising. <laughs> Going to get you a flag. <laughs> anyway, uh, right, Reds. In... Flag. <laughs> no point to get a flag, Joe. Josh will just put it round his neck to keep out. <laughs> <laughs> it's fallen into chaos as usual. Hit like, subscribe if you don't already subscribe. This is the channel for Barnsley. We talk all about Barnsley FC and uh, League One, so we'll mention your team when we play them. Uh, get in the comments, and we will see you midweek uh, to preview the next game. So, which Come is on, England. Oxford. Come on, England. <laughs> no, don't, don't don't you all be jumping on the bandwagon now. I'm not having this. I'm not having this. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? You're three Senegal fans to me now. <laughs> see you guys.